Late Friday, after all day taking stock of the ICJ decision at The Hague, ambassadors from Arab countries gathered at the United Nations to discuss a key question. What next? After allowing the media to film the opening portion of the meeting, the rest was behind closed doors so talks could continue in private. Before the meeting, the Palestinian representative said now was the time to seize the moment. If one to look at the provisional measures separately and collectively, it gives the uh, clear message that in order to do all the things that they're asking for, you need a ceasefire for it to, to happen. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres issued a statement through his spokesperson acknowledging the ICJ ruling, but offering few insights on how he views the judgment. Is the Secretary General disappointed that the ICJ did not call for a ceasefire? The, the Secretary General is not here to do color commentating on, on decisions of the independent court of the UN. His position has been what it is. It's been very clear. What the Secretary General thinks and what he would like to see is an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. All eyes now turn to the Security Council. It seems likely that by the middle of next week, the Council will call for an open meeting to discuss the rulings by the ICJ. Then the question becomes, will Algeria, the Arab member of the Council, begin to circulate a draft resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire? Diplomatic sources are telling us all indications are pointing to exactly that. Gabriel Elizondo, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations in New York. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.